But I feel like some men feel like, oh, these women are getting too independent that you know they're getting then out of provide. control. Yeah, and it's out it's, of control. They don't, don't need us. Yeah, that's what Duh. some. You know what I mean, I mean, they don't listen. I mean, they do, but they don't. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. And so, so Halloween's coming up. Oh my god! How excited for the holiday season. We're about to go into that that cycle of seasons, seasons, seasons. And you know, I'm just trying to see like what I'm gonna be for Halloween this year. Um, I feel like we don't really celebrate Halloween or any type of holiday out here, but I feel like we should start doing that. People do. We just don't. No, I'm saying like on the podcast, I feel like we don't dress up. So maybe we should change it up this year. So we get to pick each other's? Nah, fuck that. Because you're going to do some grimy shit. I'm definitely going to make you handsome Squidward. Uh, no, see, I'm not doing that. I, I I would I would agree if like you would set like Avatar or some shit, but... No. Handsome Squidward is the only option. And I'll be Chucky. I wasn't going to make you be Chucky. Why? I was going to go like Freddy Cougar. I'll do that. Nah, I changed mine. I don't want to do that one either. I gotta find. I have to think on it. I have to think okay. on something that you hate. Something I hate. Or like don't like. I don't like being called handsome Squidward. You know this. But you see it. I don't fucking see it. Everybody sees it. Everybody sees it. But yeah, Halloween's coming. Yeah, you know I mean, oh my and God. we got two months. What are you talking about? Halloween's coming. Yes. You two sound, months. You sound like fucking. Fashion Nova. They already have Halloween costumes. I mean, when Starbucks starts coming out with the pumpkin spice that lattes, like that's how you exactly. That's how you know the season is is upon us. Ugh. And you probably got one of those pumpkin spice lattes no, already. I don't really like pumpkin spice. Really? Yeah. For some reason, I used to not be I'm a white, big fan. I'm white, but I'm not that white. Fair. I I never really been a big fan of pumpkin spice, but lately, pumpkin spice anything has been like hitting for me. Like, I got these pumpkin cookies from uh, Fry's. Yeah, Fry's. That shit is gas. Hmm. Like, the, the, the warm pumpkin in it, just it just goes well with the chocolate chips and, and, and milk. I'm shocked. I didn't think you... I'm also were... drinking milk again. Like, real milk. I thought we knew that. No, no, no. I was drinking almond milk for a minute. Whole milk. You said whole milk the other day. Yeah, well, that, yeah, I started drinking... Well, no, I, I backed off on whole. I went to 2%. I had to go to 2 it's still real milk. Yeah, hundred percent. It's really good. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm slowly adding it to my, 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 my digestive system. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, I saw a video. Speaking of pronouncing shit, I saw a video of a guy saying uh, he would ask people, "Oh, what are your accomplishments?" Right, and nobody could say the word accomplishment. Like, oh, my accomplishment or did, like, but he was in the United States and people couldn't pronounce the word. So you're not alone. No, I could pronounce accomplishment. I could pronounce a good bit of words. If you, if you, if you can give me three words that you don't think I can pronounce, I'll pronounce them for you. I'd have to write them down and then you Go say on. them. Because if I say them, you'll repeat it back. But if it's written down and you got to pronounce it. That's fair. So next time, make a list of 10 words. We're okay? going to have a spelling, a, yeah, a, right? uh, reverse spelling bee. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll put it on the board and it'll be like word number one. <clears throat> we got to see how you pronounce it. And I'm going to say your favorite thing. Sound it out. You hate that. I hate that shit because like it's just it's just all, so just, uncalled for. It's funny though. All right. So what side <laughs> of TikTok are you on right now? What's on your TikTok feed? Uh, lately? Okay. So that's crazy. You said that. Lately, I've had the Republican. Uh, <laughs> what I the swear fuck? that the re- Republican a bunch of political uh, debate. Shit. Yeah, a whole bunch of political shit. What for? What, is, and, what does your for you page look like? That's not well, what mine. It, it, listen, here's the thing though. It was it was food for a minute, which I'm cool with, like restaurants stuff like that. Okay. And then one 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 thing came up of who is this um, Republic uh, uh, person who's running, and I was like, he's Indian. You know what I mean? I forget his name. But he's Indian, and I, I was know. watching it. And I, you know how sometimes if you stay on a video too long, it takes that into consideration, and it just starts flooding your... Yeah. And next you know, I was just flooded with... Nonstop. Nonstop just Republican click shit. click on the bottom corner and click not interested. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Well, it was interesting. To get rid of... Well, I'm saying... Yeah, but I, I feel you. I feel you. So my For You page is full of this saga of a random man in Atlanta, is what we're going to call it. What's he doing? So it's this girl 
who has a kid with this man, and she calls this man random man in Atlanta, the, the baby father. Okay. She, she, well, okay, go on. And so it started off over the last couple of months or so of her talking about how this random man in Atlanta left her after 30 days after she had a C-section and gave birth. Okay. And he supposedly went back to this girl he's been seeing on and off for 10 years who also has a kid with him. Cool. So she 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 basically said, I'm making videos, you know, laughing at my own pain, you know, of all this shit that happens that I'm taking care of a kid by myself. So it was, she never said this man's name Not ever. Once. Just random man. But because she keeps making these videos, he decided to come forward and show his face on TikTok and say he is the random, random man. man in Atlanta because he was so jealous of the clout she was getting that he had to show his ass. She never said who he was. And because he came forward, there are seven baby mamas that this man has. It started off with like, oh, there's only whatever. This girl, this main girl thought she was baby mama number six. And then they found out she's baby number seven. There are seven women that have come forward as having a kid with this man. And when I tell you I am so I'm so confused how this man pulled all these like really attractive women. It is mind blowing. Like if you would see him, you'd say, "Yeah, that's just some random man in Atlanta." Nothing crazy. And every woman on TikTok is like, "How the fuck did this happen?" How, uh, how do you have seven baby mamas though that you don't? Does he did he did he say that he claimed them or? or well, anything? yeah, like he'll. I think what he does, and I could be wrong because I haven't watched every video, and you know, I'm sure when this airs, there's already gonna be more shit that's come out about him or more women. I don't know, but he basically just kind of like acts like he's in a relationship with them or is, and then he leaves them once they have a kid. And a lot of these kids are born within like a week or two of each other. Like, it's been over a few years, but, like, a couple of the kids, like, the first, I think, two or three, are within the first, like, a couple of days of each so other. motherfucker is just Just knocking them, them down. Damn. And getting them pregnant. I and just don't know how you kid. I just feel like that's... That's a lot. I feel like that's... I feel like that's hella... That's a lot of child support, for one. Thank you. you know I mean, that's a... Sh I mean, I'm pretty sure none of them took in the court yet, but they probably will. I think they're currently get working on child support. But, like... I Some of them. I like if I had seven kids out there at the seven, age of twenty seven, because he doesn't look he doesn't look older than thirty five, maybe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Max. But like probably late twenties. Yeah, but, but like maybe early. You 30s. got seven kids. And you that on, we know of. Yeah. You on Nick Cannon status. You Shit. know what I mean? He's on the way. Yeah. He ain't there yet. But he's on how many kids? Fourteen? Like Twelve almost. Jesus. Yeah. I'm not knocking you for, you know But he ain't Nick Cannon. Yeah, he ain't got funds. Nick Cannon money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Now, so. Atlanta do be having them scammers, though. Oh, yeah, 100%. So. 100%. I heard. I heard but not Nick friend, Cannon said it. A friend of mine, she lived in Atlanta, and she said, uh, she said, yeah, if, she said a couple red flags for me for Atlanta, man. I was like, oh, okay. She's like, if they drive any type of charger, you know, or Hellcat or anything like that, that's a scammer. Tendencies. I was Just like, in Atlanta really? or anywhere? No. She was saying more so in Atlanta. She also said if they wear a lot of designer clothes. That's just like an overall red flag. It's the same as Scottsdale. The motherfuckers that be wearing them designer shit yeah, you in right. Scottsdale, it's like, yeah, you ain't got no money. You just are wearing it. Yeah, facts. The people who have the money want to look like bums. Yeah. Yeah. They might have, they have subtle, it's like subtle luxury. I feel it's like not, the subtle luxury is, is It's not, is a vibe. if you have to have fucking gucci symbols all over your body or fendi or some type but of I mean, louis vuitton logos all over your shit most likely if you're not a rapper i mean some people or, don't some people can afford it and they 100%, got but most brain. likely you ain't got it i've i've now realized that the people who have the most money to me they're wearing that lululemon that's 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 what I have realized. The sign of luxury, yeah, Lululemon. The, the sign of luxury lately for me has been oh, oh what that is, but Lulu. Yeah, you got money. It's because they know that buying fucking designer clothing isn't. It's pointless in it's a just, sense. It's a waste of money. You're gonna wear it once, twice, unless it's like very basic with not a lot of logos on it. Hundred percent. You're not gonna wear that freaking print. Every day, every no. time you go out, you're going to wear it one time. Facts, facts. That's why I, I tell people if you're buying luxury or designer, it's the 
the shoes, the accessories, the bags. That I mean, I feel like the shoes, you know, it depends on the shoes. Yeah, like, but the first place they're going to put their money is going to be properties and toys, like cars or boats or whatever. It's not uh, going to be a $500 t-shirt. Yeah, you'll never catch me buying a $500 t-shirt. <laughs> it just, it doesn't make sense to What's me. the most you spend on a t-shirt? On a t-shirt? Probably 45 bucks. <laughs> Forty five? Yeah, that's a lot for me too. Right. That's see forty five dollars on a shirt <laughs> is crazy. Is it? A hundred percent. What's the most you spent on like a on what? Like any some piece type of clothing. Of piece of clothing? I think the most I've spent well, well probably a suit, I would say. Okay. Yeah, but a suit, suits are investments, yeah, I feel like. So a suit would probably be the most expensive. Um in terms of like the something. most I spend is on shoes. Yeah, I feel yeah, like I, shoes are expensive if you get or, nice or bags. classic ones. I feel like for you well, that's not a clothes. Yeah, I wouldn't count consider clothes that clothes. are accessories. Like even the bag I did buy for myself is just like going out like clutch. It's not an everyday yeah. bag. Yeah, like I feel like if people were to ask me what's the most expensive thing you're wearing right now, for me right now, it'd be my Apple Watch. That's the most expensive oh no, that's like what's it'd, this medallion be, you're it'd wearing? Be my family Oh. It would be my family medallion, but then the Apple Watch. Hmm. But that that's it. You know what I mean? If I go into a store and I see a shirt that's 35 to me, I'm just like, mm, it's a little high there, buddy. You know what I mean? You know, psst. That's why you don't be seeing me buying Lululemon. That shit is fucking, don't get me wrong, the quality is phenomenal. But there's, du- there's dupes on Amazon. 100%. If They're you cheaper. go to the manufacturer, you know what I mean? You there's can companies get that are literal, literal dupes. 100%. And I've been I've been on Amazon. I don't really buy Amazon much, but I've been on there trying to find, you know, the stuff that, oh, this shit looks fire. This shit looks comfortable. Yeah. It's the same thing. So it's it's pretty dope. But nah, I just, I to me, I can't justify. I can't. I try not to buy clothes at all. I didn't buy anything I'm wearing right now. Most you, I don't think, when's the last time you bought clothes, honestly? If I buy stuff, it's probably like Nike Adidas, or Adidas yeah. or shoes. Yeah, but most of the stuff you have, you haven't bought at all. Yeah. I haven't had to buy clothes in years. Yeah, 100%. Unless like, it was like, like I said, a those dress type or, of yeah. things. Not yeah. even that, because they send you that shit all the time. I mean, if it was like a wedding, I'm in a wedding, then I'd have to buy some shit. Yeah, but. Or yeah, no. something specific that the brands i work with don't offer yeah i mean the good thing is i wear a lot of simple shit you know what i mean so like like these black shirts these, just these black, black shirts, tees yeah. that's all but these my... are so comfortable and these are seven bucks seven dollars how often do you buy those uh, honestly i buy them too much that's where I, I buy too many because if you go to champs right these black tees you get them from mm-hmm. champs you buy four for 20 for 22 bucks you get four of them for 22 bucks so to me i'm just like that's a fucking that's a great fucking deal just be, just be happy you don't have to buy makeup. No, 100%. And I, I tell people, I was like, listen, being a woman is expensive. It's so expensive. It is. It is and that's why I, put, I tell people, listen, I tell guys too, like when they say they want to have girls, like just be prepared. That shit's not cheap. Yeah. It's not. Because if you want to, tr- if don't get me wrong, you want a girl that's going to also treat you the way you treat her. But it, you, I, 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 I honestly think you're going to spend more money on your girl. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Then she would on you. Not because y'all aren't giving equal, mm-hmm. but it's like. I if, think it's just like, I think men don't realize how much money we are already spend on ourselves. A hundred percent. Like, like you said, nails. You, you buy a t-shirt. Let's say you're gonna go on a date. You're buying what? Black t-shirt. T-shirt, pants you probably already have. Already shoes have. you probably already have. Hundred cool. percent. That's it. Let's just say we we don't have to buy the clothes either, right? Mm-hmm. We still. Probably get our hair colored. You guys get a haircut. It's like what twenty bucks. No, we'll, we'll <laughs> talk know. about that because hair, hair haircuts have gone. Up. Yeah. Well, so whatever. So our hair. I don't wear extensions, but a lot of girls wear either extensions, or wigs. They get them. You know what I mean. Yeah. I don't know. Mine's not that expensive. Mine's like a hundred bucks. Really? Yes. That's cheap. That's your cheap side. Yeah. I know. And then your but nails, how much your nails? with extensions are like hundreds, if not thousand dollars for the, for depending on the quality of extensions. And then your nails, a hundred, maybe more? Again, I get the hookup on a lot of things. So mine are only 75. But normally they'd be like 150? A lot of girls are 120, 150, 250. And then Each makeup? time, feet, 75. That's twice a month for nails. Once or twice a month. Yeah, makeup. You're talking about $45? A lot of our makeup, one thing is like forty five dollars. 
And then skincare, skin products. Yes. All we use is skincare. Doing one. if we even if we did buy all this makeup, if I got my makeup done, that's like a hundred, two hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. Like we pay a whole lot more for upkeep than men do because no, we that's just you know makeup, eyelash extensions, eyebrows. Some people get microbladed. Some some get their eyebrows laminated. Being a woman's expensive. We. It, it, it is. You know what I mean? So and before that, we even go on this date, we've already put way more yeah, into the upkeep before y'all want to take us on this fucking twenty dollar date. No, okay. There's Kay. nothing wrong with twenty dollar date. Though. I'm just saying. But I get what you're saying. Even though. men on twenty dollar dates, some of them want to fucking go fifty fifty. Wait, really? Yeah. Have you not seen this on the, all these like male dominated red pill fucking podcasts where they're like. <gasps> If she's interested in me, she's going to go 50-50. Shut the fuck up. That's not up. true. I mean, but like at the same time, if she's interested in you, like I seen once her name say something about this. She said, if a woman's really interested in you, she'll 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 spend money on you for one. And the problem is, most of y'all haven't even gotten to that point. 100%. But you're, like, you're worried because you've gone on a bunch of first dates because the woman can't even stand you for your fucking personality. So you haven't even gotten to the second date. I can't speak on everybody's Third date. You haven't even gotten to the point where she's like, oh, let me get it. You know what I mean? Because, yes, I ball out. Yeah. I mean. I ball out when I'm into something. I, I feel like I feel like you can go on good dates and not be that expensive. Yes. But at the same time, you also have to think about how, how much money did it take for her to get here in a sense. You know what I mean? Like makeup dress whatever it may be you know what I mean you have to take that into consideration that's why sometimes we should be okay with hey you did all you you got and ready you showed up you was on time i was on but time but it's not only that like yes we pay for all this extra shit makeup and all that other shit but there's the whole thing the pink tax where if you and i buy the same exact type of pink body tank. wash uh -huh. but yours is male and mine's female mine's more expensive for the exact same why is shit that? exactly what, like, the I've exact never same products, if you looked at them side by side, like the men's disposable razor, the women's, for some reason, the women's is more expensive than the men's. Well, why In is that, every though? category like that, where we have the exact same thing. I so we already pay more sh for the exact same shit. I never heard of that. I didn't Look know up that. The no, I'm not saying lying, tags. but... Yeah, I, no, I it's never... like, we're not even saying like the special like shampoos or, or the special body washes. It's like the male version versus the female version of the exact same shit. For some reason, is more expensive. Yeah, I I didn't know I didn't know that was a thing. It's I, a thing. I, yeah, I, that's crazy. For some reason, they t they tax more on the women's shit, or they they price them higher. So Listen. it's like we're already paying higher for the same exact shit, and then we add on top of that all the makeup and upkeep that we do. All I know is I'm gonna have daughters, so I know it's gonna be expensive. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Women I mean, are expensive. Yeah. Men we're, are expensive. Yeah, but I, I, less, do agree I just feel like it's less upkeep. There's there's some men that really do a lot for their upkeep but in 100%. general it's a lot simpler 100%. for men you know i mean it, there is i think for me my upkeep is is simple but there are things like that i buy that, that other men won't buy and just like yeah this is just to keep like i spend a shit ton of money on supplements you know health right you know i mean that not everybody does that yeah but that's something that i choose to spend money on um, but you know, the upkeep, upkeep is expensive and the way these products are getting more and more expensive. Yeah. Everything's just expensive. Yeah. hundred percent. So, so it takes a lot to maintain, but so next time you worried about a $20 fucking date. And the other thing with that is too, a lot of, I, I think, think a lot of times some men fail to realize that like, <sighs> you good? Sorry. That was y'all. Um, <laughs> they fail to realize like. We're already doing this shit. Have you ever seen women go on girls trips and just ball out and they're buying all this crazy food and drinks and all these experiences and shit? Like yeah. we're already able to provide that shit for ourselves. You know what I mean? So if you think just like we're we're in it for the for the food. If you think a woman in her thirties is trying to go on a date to like get something out of you to like get a meal out of you you're fucking crazy well some are but not in their most. 30s i don't think most of them, no i don't I i'm mean, saying like we've already you know yeah. we we can already provide for I mean, ourselves agree. we take care of ourselves we we treat ourselves very nicely 100 so flag, going dude. on a meal it's like cool but you think that's really why i decided to, to even meet you in person you're i feel crazy. like this generation is just the i and this is where social media comes to place i feel like the narrative has just been women 
being very independent, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Women are becoming more we're and more, forced to. more and more independent than they ever have, which is more power to you. you know what we mean? want to, but we're also forced to. And we ask for something to get done. It doesn't get done or it's, we're not treated how we're supposed to. We're taking care of ourselves. I understand. But I feel like some men feel like, oh, these women are getting too independent that, you know, they're getting <laughs> then out provide. of control. provide. Yeah. And it's, out it's, of control. They don't that, need us. Yeah, that's what Duh. some, you know what I mean? I mean, they don't. Listen, I mean, they do, but they don't. Uh, like, obviously, when it comes to a, a children's standpoint. But we can get artificial insemination. Right. Just yeah. drop off your sperm. We got it. Just kidding. It just, you know, though. They're going to lose um, it on that. It, yeah, it, it just, it's a. I don't know. It. It's like it's just a confusion between it's, it's, you want an independent so woman, but you want a woman that needs you. It's just, but it's, when she doesn't need you, everyone is confused. When she doesn't need you, then oh, she's so fucking masculine. But then you won't provide for her and bring her into her feminine energy that y'all want so bad because you think she just wants you for money. So it's like, what is it? You got to pick a sign. What is it? What do you want? You're so confused on you want an independent woman that doesn't need you for money, but then you won't provide her to provide for her or do the things to bring her into her feminine energy. Yeah. Where What's not clicking? A lot of things. Like, what do you actually want? Make it make sense. It doesn't. It doesn't. All right. I saw a post that said, um, <coughs> which I guess we got to figure something out for you, but without blaming your ex... Oh, uh, I don't believe in those. Well, whatever. Your last situation ship. Without blaming your last situation ship, what's one thing you should have done differently in your last relationship? I should have claimed it sooner. Ooh, wow. Yeah, shocking. Uh, yeah, and I, I've come to terms with that already. Like, I've, <laughs> you know, I even told you that. I was like, I should have claimed her sooner. If I did, if I, if I would have, and it wasn't like I was out there just like fucking around, just didn't claim her. You know what I mean? But if I would have claimed her sooner... But did probably, you want a relationship? Yeah, I, I did. I was just so scared of the commitment part. I was... What were you afraid of? I, I'm afraid of being tied down sometimes. I'm af I'm afraid of not being able to do what I want, when I want, it, and how I want to do it. So you don't want a relationship? No, that's not true. I want a relationship, but at the same time... But if you don't want to be tied down? No, it's... It, sometimes it can be scary. You know what I mean? It, it can. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you're, you're committed to someone else. I don't like to commit to... I like to commit to shit that I'm fully in control of. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I'm not fully I'm not fully controlled in a relationship, nor do I want to be fully in, like I, I don't want to be over controlling in a relationship. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? But it was I like, getting to a point that I was like, okay, I'm getting more and more to terms that I could do this. Yeah. But it took me too fucking long. And that's where if I could fi if I could go back, that's how I would fix it. Was I would have one express more so how I felt, like truly, mm -hmm. and two claimed her sooner. Instead of getting, you know, fucked over. But now seeing beyond that, would you still want that? What, her? Like. Would I still want her or like. Yeah. Like, like what, seeing, seeing how things played out between what she was saying to you and how she was in that relationship. The bullshit she was feeding you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Would you still want that? Like if she now? came back, would I accept in a sense? No, knowing the stuff she lied to you about. Oh, mm -mm. No, I, I just, I don't know. I just don't think I could because I think the stuff that she lied about was stuff that, honestly, if she was just straight up, the only person I could have blamed was right. myself. You know what I mean? So it would have nothing to do with her by all she did was make the best decision she thought for her at the time. Right. Only person you could blame in that situation was myself, mm -hmm. 100%. You know, I have to take accountability of that. And the fact that she made it worse when she didn't. I, I think that's what makes me frustrated. Is like she made it worse when she did nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. All she had to do was just this is it. This is the situation. Communicate and be honest. Hundred percent. You know what I mean? Not lie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Then we could have been civil. You know what I mean? Right. But we're not civil at all. So no, I, no. I don't think. No, not you know right. we're not. <laughs> yeah, you know we're not fucking civil. What the fuck. So if they broke up. Yeah. No, I don't think I could do. She it. came back around. No. No. I don't think she was don't. like, "Damn, Michael." Nope. No, nope. I fucked up. No, nah, no. Nah. And you were good to me, even though you weren't ready for a relationship or whatever. I, I was good to her, though. 
I like even no, I was. I never I always <laughs> treated her with respect. Don't play with me. Good to her as far as treatment? Both. Both what? Like I was good to her in terms of treatment. And I actually did a pretty good good job when it comes to gifts with her. Okay. I ain't the best gift giver. But was it uh because she was giving you gifts, you just you felt forced to No, because I remember when first the first gifts I I gave the gifts. It was small gifts. It was small gestures. No, you said she said she was sending something for a holiday, and then you felt obligated yeah, th- to. No, there was there was one holiday that I was just like, "Why did you send something?" Like I was, it was threw me off. I don't send shit for Halloween. What the fuck? Wait, what? Yeah, it was. I it was, remember that. Well, I don't tell you everything. Sometimes you know you gotta keep private we life know. to the private life. Um, but no, if she were to come, that was your question. If she were to come back, would yeah, I? Yeah, if she, let's say they broke up. Yeah. And she came back around because you know it would be bound to happen. <laughs> You're so sold on that shit's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen. But no, I don't think I don't. Think, I don't. I mean, I don't think they're breaking up. Yeah. No. Hundred percent. I just think that. But if, if they, they did, did, she's coming to you directly. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't, th- and I'm not going to be disrespectful about it. You know what I mean? She came and approached You'd me respond. one day. I'd, I'd be like, listen, you know, we've already come to terms with our situations. I, I don't know what's going on with your situation, but I just, me and you just not going to work. Or she was like, okay, I'm single now, and, you know, I apologize for all this, that, and the third, and. Well, she technically still hasn't apologized. But if she did. Why did it take you a whole year to apologize? Because I was in a relationship. I mean, I appreciate you apologizing, but this is just not something for me. Because the fact is, you had to make up a lie when you did nothing mm-hmm. wrong. There's a problem there. Okay, well, I booked a trip to Tulum. <laughs> okay. For us. <laughs> you can't tell me no. <laughs> it's a totally different it's a situation. Repeat. Yeah, totally different situation, though. So it's just like. You wouldn't go on it? No. What? You, you lied to me when you did nothing wrong. Think about that. That's narcissistic. Yeah. You lied to me. When you did nothing fucking wrong, right? Mm-hmm. Why? Why? To why she wanted to play the victim. But at the same time, why play the victim in a situation that you were you were she, winning? She felt guilty. But it's at the same time you may feel guilty, but then you also have to come to terms like, listen, I feel guilty. I feel bad about this, but this is the truth. And the only thing I could have said was, I gotta eat that shit. Cause I think she did it to keep you around. But for what? You had a whole ass man. Right. But I think, didn't she have something in the beginning of like y'all talking? So I feel like she lies. That was a whole nother dude. That's what I'm saying. I feel like she lies to like keep you at arm's distance to keep you around because she thinks that you're going to think, oh, this isn't serious. Because I think if you didn't cut it off, I think she still would have been randomly hitting you up. Swear. You think? Nah. Yes. Because shit ended because you. I cut that shit off. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. But at the same time, just like. And she didn't tell you about the relationship because she was trying to keep you around. They were in a relationship for a solid month before you were. But I'm just like. Even knew anything was happening. Why would you. One, why would your mans be okay with you? Like. He wasn't because she she wasn't hitting you up when she was with him. Yeah, 100%. But I'm just like. To me, that's cheating. 100. Uh. it's not cheating, but it's, it's headed in the right direction. That's cheating because why are you in. keeping why are you keeping a motherfucker that you was fucking with to arm's length when you're in a whole ass relationship? If I'm in a whole ass relationship, yeah, I'm not gonna have somebody. And arm's that's why I'm length. saying, like, if knowing what you know now, would you if, no. if you were the guy in a relationship with her and she's still hitting up this other guy? I'd break up with her because there's if an you would have found out. Yeah. yeah, I'd be like, listen, you must not like me or love me or whatever it may be yeah. because. You got a whole ass dude that you were just talking to, crying on the phone, talking about, I miss you, I love you, whatever. Yeah. Yet, we're in a relationship. What the fuck? Damn. Talking about, you know, oh, this might not work out between me and it. So, staying in contact with exes, you it, consider it, cheating. It, it, in a, just in a sense. Like, yeah, 100%. If, you're, if, you're, if you have an ex and you stay in contact, like y'all having conversations consistently mm-hmm. and y'all don't share a child together and y'all don't you know what i mean and now if if it's civil okay i'm not finna sit here you know i'm i'm gonna I'm a have questions mm-hmm. but i'm not gonna overdo it but the situation that i was in like to me if if like if he came to me right and not her right he came to me separately mm-hmm. i was like hey bro how you know her? i was like oh you know We've been talking for quite some time, you know, just got back from a trip, blah, blah, blah. We chopping it up, you know, day and whatever it may be. And, you know, 
if 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 that's if that's me and I heard that, I'm like, I appreciate you being up front. I don't want to fuck with her no more. Cause I'll ask, when's the last time y'all talked, chopped it up? She'll say, da, 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 or last week. There's an issue. Yeah. There's an issue. That's, that's the grounds faith- to break up for you. Hundred percent. You're not faithful to me. Cause if you were, you know what I mean. You would have told. If you were truly faithful, you would have told that man. Listen, I'm in a relationship. Listen, I got mad love for you, but it's not working. You had your chance. You would have said that. Yeah. You didn't say that. You didn't say shit. You know what I mean? But you also didn't ghost somebody to the full extent. It'd be different if she ghosted, didn't say shit. I said, okay. Well, she ghosted She just me. made up excuses just, for ma- why ma- she wasn't communicating 100%. consistently. Excuse, excuse after excuse after excuse. And I'm just like, okay, you know, like, just leave it alone. I'm not going to lie. That situation makes me never want to see you in a relationship. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah, yeah no, 100%. You it, lost it makes me, your shit, it makes, bro. Yeah, because... I've never seen you like that. I've never seen and you. The, it, it makes me not want to be in a relationship, too, because it's just like... You're low-key a psychopath. Not me? really. You're just... No, but like, I was... I was. I think I was so frustrated and upset is because I, I came to terms where I made the mistake and I expressed that. Mm-hmm. Why did you lie? Why did you have to, yeah. you, the hole was, I dug the hole. Mm-hmm. I dug the hole. But you said you were okay with her dating other people. A hundred percent. You know what I mean? In, in a sense. But we also came to terms where, like, listen, if we start dating other people, we have to communicate that to each other so we know. Uh-huh. And she did it. Yeah. I didn't have another female living in my house. Facts. You know, living with me full time. But I just don't think you were that into it as much as but, you. But still, I think you. I think once reality hit, you were into it. Yeah, but once reality s- hit that she had someone else, all of a sudden you were into still, it. Still, it's just like, it, it's 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 that's to me it's just narcissistic, you know, narcissistic. You know what I mean, it's just like, like you you had to you lied on top of a lie on top of a lie mm-hmm. on top of another lie. On top of another lie. Yeah, she should have just kept a player and, then, and, and then, been like, yeah, and then yeah said, I'm and dating then said, someone. Oh, I, I, I thought you would have known. I was like, if you, why would you assume that? You know I mean, when because you wasn't really posting, you know. She was pulling away. Yeah, okay, pulling away is fine. You know what I mean? But don't pull away and then hit me up talking about, oh, I miss you, shit like that. That's where it's just, that's where it becomes confusing for both parties. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it makes it very differently if you were talking to someone else uh-huh. or when someone is living with you. Living those are, with you. that, that those, are, those are two different things. That was a bit extreme. 100%. Two different things. But to each his own. So, but I mean, at the same time, though, like, that's the past. I'm not even like, I don't, like, it's the past. You know, you live and you learn. I feel like I learned. I learned a valuable lesson from that situation. So moving forward, if you ever get into something. I'm going to know how to, I'm, one, I'm going to communicate how I feel, but then at the same time, I'm not going to, if, if if there's something I'm like, y'all, I'm really trying to see where this goes, I'm going to act on it. You know what I mean? I'm mm-hmm. going to act on it. Good. And I'm going to make that action known. You know, not yeah. just have them assume, but make them know, yeah. like, listen, this is what this is what the situation is. Good. If you have any second thoughts, questions, concerns, please feel free to let me know. That's it. If you have a whole grown ass man living with you with three kids, let me know. Kids. No, I'm just giving you an example. You know what hmm. I'm saying? So it is what it is, you know. Damn. Yeah. Okay. You know I mean, it, it is what it is, you know. But you live and you learn. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, and I Gots think that's crazy careful. though. But I think, uh, I think the good thing about. This is where I think, you know, you, you should have friends, too, as well. Well, obviously, I think everybody should have friends. But friends that will tell you how it is, you know, or, or a good, a, a bad friend will tell you what you want to hear. A good friend mm-hmm. will tell you what you need to hear, even when it comes to significant others mm-hmm. or other people, okay? Like, for example, I've had Aubrey tell me, not just this situation, but other situation, I don't know about this one, looks, appearance, whatever it may be. Or like personality, oh. like you know, what I mean? you give too many chances, just like I do. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, but you go back five times. Yeah, but you do too, and don't you go back like not three. with all of them. With some, the ones that I'm really in deep, sure. Yeah, but you go back to the ones you barely even date. You give chances to the one that I cut them off quick when it's like you're acting funny. Yeah, it's like yeah. a work. You're just like, oh well. Some time has passed, so let's try this again. Yeah, it just really depends. Like, yeah, no, hundred percent. So, just gotta keep, just gotta keep it a bill. Just gotta keep it a honey. 
real talk. You know, don't worry. You'll find a pretty girl out there with a big bunda. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's your advice. 100%. Just take your time. And find a girl with a big ass. Or whatever you're into. Pretty eyes. That's nice, too. Nice smile. So just physical. I actually saw a girl the other day. I never thought I'd be into girls with, like, gaps in their teeth. Hmm. And I was like, yo, this girl's... I've dated guys with gaps. I feel like it's more... But, like, I, I, I'm not saying I never thought I'd be... She was pretty, but then she smiled and she had a gap. And normally you would think... But I was more like... <laughs> s- s- let me finish, though. All right, no offense. jump back. Yeah, but, like, I, I jumped back and I was like, oh, damn, that gap looked real pretty. Looking like the Red Sea. Uh, but it was, it was, it was, it was, she looked gorgeous. Not the Red Sea. Well, well it, the gap parted like the Red Sea. You see the little gum, little thing at the top? You know, you know I know what she's talking yeah. about. She was gorgeous. I'm just gorgeous. shocked. And I'm just like, oh my God, that woman right there. Wow. Well, God damn, sweet baby, Chase. Broadening your horizons. 100%. 100%. You. you know what I mean? And I think she was like, I think she was Pakistani. Mm. Let me say this. Because we had this conversation in a group. So there's, there's beautiful women all over the world, 100%, uh-huh. right? I've come to a conclusion, though, lately, uh-huh. that some of the most beautiful women, now I'm just, there's beautiful women everywhere, like I said, but women from Pakistan, Morocco, Africa, Asia area, uh-huh. um, Iraq, Afghanistan, oh my goodness, some of the most. Maybe you go- just need to travel. So, 100%. Some of the most gorgeous women I've seen lately, like social media, in person, whatnot, have been from Iraq, Afghanistan, Morocco, Egypt. And I'm just like, and I, I feel like in America, people hear those countries and they just skin their face. You know what I mean? Yeah. And oh, the Indian, India too as well. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, yo, that's where some of the most beautiful right. women in the world are. I mean, I, I feel like you just need to travel. No, 100%. Like, I think top tier right now. Is like psh, women from Afghanistan are gorgeous. Oh my god, and pa- oh my goodness. And where are you seeing these women? Well, you know, social media, but then right. at the same time, um, when I was in Boston, right. you know, is a little, little different culture shock. And I met this one girl. She was cool. Um, she was with uh, some friends, and I was with my cousins. We just went out, and we were just at a restaurant bar. We were just meeting, and greeting, and having conversation, and. She was telling me where she was from. And I was just like, I'm looking at her and all her friends. I'm like, Yeah, I think you need to broaden your horizons like, Yo, beyond Caucasians. Yo, yo. Well, I've dated Caucasian, Asian women, and light-skinned women. That's really been my yeah. you know, thing. Exactly. But, um, yeah, no, it, it's, it's just, I, 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 feel like, I feel like sometimes we get into this tunnel where you just date like, What's what's close? What's easy? Not easy, but like close by. Like easy in terms of proximity of location. Um, but you gotta widen your horizon. I can see you with a, a, a man from. Oh, actually, what am I fucking saying? You only go date by guys, so maybe you might find a man from Morocco. Okay. Or Egypt. You know what I mean? That's yeah. not as he's. He'll be. They he's message, African. They message me all the time. Yeah. Maybe I'll give them a shot. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, it just depends if you're attracted to them or not. I don't know what they look like. It's usually like fake profiles. Yeah, so you can't really speak on it to you. Can't. Someone. Yeah. No. So. Mm. But yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs>